Fine. Kill him. This is from Jack. It's me, again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. She made a terrible mistake by letting her hatred take over. Whatever time she had left, she lost it right there when she pulled the trigger. It was Adam's final victory. He wanted to die, after all. But he also managed to take one more soul with him. I was lucky, for once. Hardly even got injured. The explosion just swept me out of that room, and I stayed alive. I wish I was able to stop Mitzi, to talk her out of it, but I didn't. I'm not sure if I'm more angry with her for firing that gun, or with myself for failing to save her. I still miss her though, every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? I opened her laptop six months later, and there it was, a friend request. Something I forgot about a long time ago, a little gift from behind the grave. I met some people, we go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them, tried to help. And now, I'm writing this blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it, this invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me, asleep, waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine.